going to do a demo Yay. on it. It's a great idea. What's That's called nut chucks. Okay. Now, I went to the Utah State, the, the Utah Symposium, and saw a guy named Kim Christensen demo on these guys. Uh, and it's a great way to make an inexpensive, dedicated chuck for your lathe. For any any kind of tool, for all kinds of crazy tools. This this one here is just a dedicated waste block. That's what I used when I did the the, the ring demo a couple a couple months back. As I said, I, I, the nice thing about this is it's it's already true and set up and square. If I whenever you take something in and out of a scroll chuck, you've got to readjust it. Read it. It's not. It's never going to run as as dedicated and true as it always as it will. When you pop it on a, if you have it on its own dedicated screw check, I guys can pass that Where one around. Where did you get those nuts from? Alma Bolton screw. The one over by Jules Fonsberry? Yep, one on Jules Fonsberry. That looked like mine, the one that I got. These early. guys are like, were like three bucks? You know? Three dollars. What? Dollar something. Okay. Three. <laughs> I, I don't remember exactly. They, they weren't terribly expensive. I'm not gonna care. That wasn't bad. It's a whole lot cheaper than these. I bought. I did bring for those of y'all smaller chips, smaller lathes. I brought three eight by ones. I don't. I don't need those anymore. I don't need those. But I bought them. It's the same thing here. This is a one by eight. My lathe is a one and a quarter by eight. So you can make a dedicated chuck. And so I can use my chuck tonight. I bought an adapter to cut it up. So basically, what I'm first gonna do is show you kind of how to make the chuck itself. Do it that way. All right. I've already just made it, I, before we started, just leveled it off so it's nice and pretty. So all we're going to do now okay. is... Get me close to a relevant space to so fit in my scroll chart. Forgot to bring calipers with me. The bowl gouge. <clears throat> Just gonna cut a pin on this. This is a piece of a uh, cedar freebie gift I got from somebody. They didn't need it. Doesn't work really well for anything pretty, but it's a great utility, a utility piece of wood. Doesn't uh, I use it a lot for waste blocks. Cut a little bit of a there's a little bit of a, of, of a dovetail on this jaw. So that's what I put a dovetail on the end of it. Real simple work on that. All right. Now there's several ways you could do this. If you wanted to, you could actually leave it locked in here and drill from the end. I'm not in the mood to do that today. So I brought my scroll chuck with me. This is a Chuck's Plus BD 275 with the step jaws. Nice little chuck. Again, I'm not trying to make a bowl, so I don't need this to be pretty. This is the biggest uh, Forstner bit I have, which is two and two and an eighth. The chuck from corner to corner is right at two and a quarter, so. You do, I will have to do a little bit of trim work when I'm done with this. Yeah, I probably should turn it down.
setting off any smoke alarms. Uh, God, I hope not. Right <laughs> above you. Nice. All right. Cool. Well, if we get a shower tonight, we know why. Red cedar? I have no idea it's a cedar. I have no idea what kind of cedar it is. It's old and dry. Like it. it smells pretty. It even my dead it nose. Faster with a with, with a skew chisel. Okay. Same problem. For safety's sakes, always turn your lid off when you move your tool rest. Good advice. Good advice. I would say wear a full face shield, but we don't have a, a microphone and it's difficult to talk to, to a crowd with a full face shield on. V gouge with a 4040 grind on it. Not boring y'all with grinding out a hole. 
size it to, to, to that particular size, it works pretty well. Um, from this point, I didn't bring any tape, but take some standard blue masking tape or any kind of masking tape or whatever, tape over the hole, set it in here, pop it down, get it good and squat. Tight bond three is all you need. You don't. You could use epoxy. You can use whatever you want. Any any good wood glue is going to work. It's just going to take about three or about three days to cure completely. So if you're going to if you want to make one of these, do give yourself a little bit of time. It needs a little bit of time to cure in the chuck itself. So what do you use the tape for? <clears throat> tape is to prevent the glue from going back up underneath. The you want you want to make sure that the where's the yeah the. You if you look, if you look down in the center of this one, you can see the little blue spot in the center, and it basically prevents the glue itself from seeping down and then coming back in, and then you lost your chuck. You've lost the, the the part of the chuck that you really want to deal with. On well, this one, your glue looks black. Can you color that? Or? No, tight bond actually, if in 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 large amounts, just turns black. Doesn't dry clear. Our tight bond three doesn't. It's 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 uh they're only like weather resistant one. The nice thing about these trucks is you can make all kinds of crazy little things with them. Um, Kip Christensen, who I saw this, saw, saw a demo of this in Utah, had a good 10 projects that he had that various ways on screw chucks, some jam chucks, some just squeeze fits. Uh, one thing he made that I thought was cool as crud was a, a sphere chuck. Basically took this, took like the, the one there, which is probably going to make that one out of beveled the inside of this one, made a a jam chuck for his tip for his uh, tailstock side, and then you just hold the, the sphere in there while you turn turn the center of it. You can buy one from Carter and Sons. I think it's one hundred and twenty five dollars. This thing costs you five. So, kind of kind of a neat thing. So when I made, I guess I oh shoot, oh, I do I do want to show that. <clears throat> I forgot what I was doing. Go. When you turned off, you didn't turn off the first time, but you turned off that time. Adapter. Now, what I'm what I've made this for is, or a lot of people are doing. I mean, what you can do with them is make little toppers and stuff for ornaments. Finials will work really good. The nice thing about it is you can cut your wood this size. I have no waste on this block. I cut it exactly. I needed a one inch block. I got a one inch block. That's one one really nice advantage these chucks have uh, using this kind of chucking system is you re reduce the waste that you create. make a little topper for one of those little gizmos but go to a little better turning speed for this project all right so put the block put it in my scroll truck real quick just to hold it square I want to square up the base Yep. And then this is a three sixteenths drill bit. Go on. I need, I need it somewhere else. They have a mark at a half an inch. There it is.
pretty good job on that one. Okay. Now for just for me to do this, this little project, first thing I do is just true up the edge. So that way we're running at least mostly, you know, as true as possible here. And the only, the only the back edge is the one that needs to be straight and square, so I don't have to worry too, as much about the foot to top. The cleaning cut. Okay. Take the bowl gouge and we're going to reduce the weight that I don't need. higher than I'm used to. Okay, got that done. And then now I cut a little ball on top. So lay out the ball through, make a little V cut here. I like to cut v I like to cut beads with spindle with the uh, with skews. I'm more comfortable doing balls with chip, with uh, gouges. So Just personal preference, not not one that matters to anybody but me on that. quite sized right normally I have a wrench that I use the sizes with I just I forgot to bring that with me Uh, gouge just to cut a little cove here. right in the tool rest, right where I need to be. That's it. And then just for a little decorative aspect. Take the skew. Cut three little lines. I 
that's it. Pretty simple, easy, quick little way to turn a small detail project like this. Um, and usually it cuts pretty clean and fast and all I have to do is sand it with, uh, I start sanding with 320 on this. That screw that you put on your truck, mm -hmm. is that one of those, uh, I guess one side is uh, block thread, the other side is machine? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's a uh, hanger bolt? So I have a, I have an adapter that came with uh, one of my chucks to, to bring it up from one by eight to one by eight and a quarter, from one by quarter and a by eight. No, that screw that you put in there. Well, the screw in there is a simple number twelve uh, stainless steel screw, that uh, wood screw that I happen to like one that has a hex head on it instead of a Phillips or uh, flat, because that way you can uh, if you need to tighten it up, it's easy to get it. it you know, you're not going to strip it out as easily. Oh, you came from the from from the amp going in. Yep. Uh, I drill, I drilled when I when I made this chuck. I drilled through the center like you would anything else because it's the truest way to keep it keep it square. And then simply put in a two inch screw. It's got about a half inch out sticking out, so that way it's exactly what I need done for the project I'm making. I have a, basically a piece that was a blown up bowl. I didn't didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, and I drilled a hole in the bottom that's like five eighths of an inch, so I can set this in there, sit under my drill press, and, and ream it out to quarter of an inch so it fits the dowel. Pretty quick and easy way of getting it taken care of. But. And then when I do that, glue it together and then stick the, uh, drill a, a 16 inch pilot hole so that way I can screw the screw eye in. But that's pretty much it. It's, but the versatility of these chucks is really quite remarkable when you want, depending <coughs> on what you want to get done. But quick and easy way to turn something small. You don't have to, um, you, you don't have extra, extra waste of the material you can cut your piece to size cleaned up the bottom already when I when I chucked it drilled the hole in it it's flush flush mounted so it's it's set and ready to go uh, it's one of those a uh, lot of and there's a lot of versatility to this kind of chuck depending on how just whatever you can imagine and that's the one nice thing about them uh, they really offer a great versatility they're inexpensive to make and if you screw one up Knock out. You can knock out. You can either throw the whole thing away or knock the chuck out and make something different. Um, you can make. A, there's. I guess I saw a guy who had a, a reverse chuck uh, system that he had made, but he had to sacrifice a faceplate. I mean, it's a fifty dollar faceplate. I could have made a fifty. I could have made a five dollar faceplate and done the same same project with this. So it's it, the versatility of what you can do with this particular type of chucking is really remarkable, and that's one reason why I like. This is cool. And then you can just spin it off. You're done. Do I need to? I didn't put a finish on it, but that's fine. <laughs> on this project, I use HUD. That's right. Now you polish. Never mind. I don't have a rag. So we're good. But yeah, that's that's it. It's an easy, quick little way of making, but it. Christmas ornaments, um, birdhouses. I know a lot of guys use to make to make the birdhouses out here. This is a good way to make a, a dedicated chuck for it that you're not. You just set it aside. Set it aside. Three bucks. You're you're out. The other pieces are your scrap. I mean, yeah. You know, this is this is scrap wood I got got from somebody for free. The only I'm, I'm out twenty cents in glue maybe, and uh, you know three dollar chuck three dollar nut. So. It's, How easy does the glue come off the nut if you need to redo it? I haven't had to do with that yet, so I can't tell you that. But I'm, I, I've got a, I've got a nice high-speed bell sander. <laughs> if I need to do that, I'm sure I can get it off there. 
Uh, but that's the only, the only you know, but, well, the nice thing it is about, especially like on one of these, if you're using it for a waste block chuck, if you have to like, well, this is this chuck and then I gotta make this chuck, and you keep cutting it down, when you get to a point, you know where the nut's at, just glue another waste block to this thing. And then you never, you don't have to worry about it. And so you just keep, you know, eventually you may have 13 different pieces of wood glued together, but it's still a universal chuck. If you're using, if you're reverse chucking bowls, if you've got a bowl blank that's a piece of crap that you just can't do anything with it. You can, if you make a bowl out of it, it's probably going to blow up. You can at least keep it for, for your doing it. You can make a reverse chuck out of it. Glue a nut in the one side, set it up, round it out, and then that way you're cutting, you can cut the profile of the bowl you need, and you're not out, you're, all you're out is junk wood. And so it's a good way of, of keeping versatile, you know, rechucking stuff without having to worry about the extra cost or time it takes to make things. It takes a little, it takes a little bit of time, but the, the extra cost at least. So, I so know you it's don't a have to get short demo. You have to long way to get the parts to handle it. I'm yeah, sure that uh, chuck around. There we go. But yeah, that one is, this is a, so That's the one that you, you bought from one way? This? No, this came with this guy. I have, oh, I, I, oh, have, I like yeah, screw yeah, chucks. Yeah. I use a lot of, I, I do a sure. lot of my work on screw chucks. I'm sorry. And this is the, the three in one from, the three in one screw chuck from Craft Supplies. And offers a really good chuck. I like it a lot. Um, and for my larger project, it's great. That thing, uh, this is a quarter inch hole that's an inch long. If I, the piece is only an inch long, so I'm not gonna, I'd, I'd waste a lot of wood making it with this chuck. And so, and put on yeah, you could, yeah, you do all that, but I mean, it's just uh, more junk than you need to put, you could deal with. And not when I can make a chuck for five bucks and I ain't gonna, uh, and that one's at least again a dedicated process that I don't have to worry about. Yes, sir. Tight bond glue, tight bond three, what's the difference? Between that and two, I've got these two. Two, two will work just fine. Three is threes. I think is the water completely, completely weather resistant or waterproof or whatever. Okay. Any of them are going to work. I mean, I said you can use Elmer's for that matter. You just got to make sure it's cured. Uh, I said I wouldn't recommend CA. CA is a little too uh, fragile. Epoxy. Yeah, when you passed around those things earlier, it looked like almost epoxy. Yeah, it, for whatever reason, Type Bond three or er, dries black in large amounts. Okay. So. I don't, I don't know why that is, but it does. But I, I'm not using it to like glue pieces of wood together for you know, show and tell. I'm like, using it to hold my chuck together. So I'm not, I'm not as, most time if I ever glue anything together, you don't see the bond. Or I, just, it's, I don't do glue it to where you can see the bond. I glue it so I can figure, get the job done. But yeah, that's that one and, and this little guy here are two of the chucks that I've, I make my living on, literally. I, I, all my toolbox are, are done on that guy there, so. But that's that's what it is. I know it's a short demo. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I was told about this on Sunday, so.